Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to give you a demo of a WooCommerce theme built in React using Gatsby framework. And this theme is called Electra. So why would we use a WooCommerce site in React? Well, let's find out. The first thing is the user experience. We don't need to rebuild the backend because WooCommerce with WordPress is robust and already provides us with all of the functionality needed to manage your store from WordPress dashboard. However, it's the front end where the user experience matters. Building a front end theme in React powered by Gatsby gives you an amazing user experience and a better user experience is likely to give you more conversion. Next thing is performance. As you can see, the website is blazing fast. Unlike a traditional WordPress theme, it's a single page application, so there is no page reload. So let's say this is your traditional WooCommerce site with WordPress, and you're browsing through the products, and you are checking out what products are available, probably you are adding them to your wish list, etc and all of a sudden internet goes off. So what happens? Well, yes, you get this dinosaur, right? That says no internet. Is it a good feeling? Well, to me, it's not. So how do we solve this problem? So let's go to a React WooCommerce theme and see what happens there. So I'm going to open up my website. Okay, it works on when it's online and let's switch off the internet and see what happens. Internet is switched off, let's refresh. Voila! Magic, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so you can see that the website still works even when we are offline. I can search the products that I want, so I don't really need to wait for the internet to come in. I can add them to my wish list. Okay, so I have them in my wish list, and then when the internet comes back in, I can just order them, right? Isn't that wonderful? amazing and all of the pages work so my about page works my featured page works and you can see internet is turned off okay and you don't need to build an extra code base for mobile application because this is a PWA and you can actually add to home screen on your mobile and use this as a mobile application which even works offline so let's see how that works Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the demo and this will give your website a better performance and better user experience. Now that we have established that using a WooCommerce theme in React is better for user experience, performance and conversion, let's talk about some of the other aspects. At this point, you'll say to me, Imran, what about server-side rendering and SEO? How would that work? So, well, I will say to you that the good news is that's all been taken care of. One of the many advantages of using Gatsby 
is that it provides SSR out of the box. So if you check the page source, you can see that the content is already loaded. So it's just rendering static HTML. And talking about SEO, it already has an SEO component, which works well with Yoast SEO, which means that you can see that I have got the Yoast SEO plugin installed over here, which means all of my content, all of the SEO will be taken care of by this. And then I can query those SEO fields with GraphQL meta tags onto the front end. So you can see that you've got your meta tag, uh, which is, here you go. Let me zoom that for you. You can see you've got OG image, OG title for Twitter, uh, you know, Facebook, all of that stuff. So you've got all of the required meta tags for SEO. And you can also share this product on Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn. So this is my Twitter. You can see I can share it. I can share it on Facebook. There you go. Awesome. Now let's talk about some of the other features. For example, you have image optimization. So so there's a lazy load of images and with a blurred effect. So if I search something, you can see you get the blurred effect, right? You have these categories of WooCommerce that are being served from WooCommerce. So all of the content that you see like this text, title, all of this is editable from WordPress, okay? And you've got your category carousal. You have the search. You have the paginations. You can go into the next page. You can see how fast it is. There's no page reload, right? You have the archive page. So now this will show me all of the products that are belonging to the category clothing. This will be decor, miscellaneous, trending, all of that stuff. You also have the single product page and then you have the carousal, right? And one of the other things I wanted to show you that if you click on this product, you can also zoom in the product, single product. Let's, so let's go ahead and uh, try to place an order. So if I can do add to cart, so I'll click on this. You can see it's added. This one's added. This one's added as well. And now you can see it shows three products here. If I click on it, it opens up, shows me the products that are there. I can go into the cart page. I can increase or I can decrease, I can even delete any of these. Okay, so what you'll notice that if you're using WordPress, if you need to update something, then you can see that you can't really see the, any change in the total over here, and you have to actually click on update card to be able to see the change. However, on this side, the moment you make a change, you can see that the total also changes, right? So you click on plus, you can see the changed, the total also change. You don't really need to click anything. It's super fast. You can even clear the card from here. You can even check out. You can even create an account if you want to. And then you can click on any of these options. Let's go with cash and delivery. Place an order. It's processing the order. And there you go. The order is processed. Awesome. Congratulations. You can also log into your account. And you can see it's displaying my name over here. I can click on orders. And this is the order that I just placed. I've got my address being shown over here. I've got my account details and I can even log out. And the best part is that you can also register from here. So you can either register from this point or at the time of checkout, you can also create an account by clicking on this. Isn't that wonderful? Perfect. This is an open source Gatsby theme. So you can come in over here onto Imran Sayyad Gatsby WooCommerce theme. And there are some simple steps you can follow to set it up. And even if you're a non-technical person, it is pretty easy. It's pretty easy to use this theme. Now you'll ask me, Imran, what about deployment? How can I do that? Well, because it's a decoupled architecture where your WordPress is decoupled from your front-end React application, 
So there are a couple of options. For example, you can have your front-end application, for example, on example.com, and you can host it on Netlify or DigitalOcean or AWS. The backend can be on a subdomain or subdirectory domain. For example, it can be wordpress.example.com or example.com slash wordpress. So you can either deploy on the same hosting provider, let's say DigitalOcean, or you can keep it separate. It doesn't really matter. So your WordPress can stay on a different server and hosting service provider altogether, and your front end can live separately or maybe on, on the same one. It's completely up to you. Okay, awesome. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and do star my repository if you like my work. Okay then, thank you very much. Bye.